Hi, right, this is a short screencast showing you how to change the working times and insert holidays on, on the calendar in Microsoft Project. So the first thing we do is we have our project file open. We go on to the project tab. Then in the properties group, uh, we can see there's a button there, a, a tool. It's called change working time. Now before I do that, I'm just going to go over to the Gantt chart here. I'm going to right click on any white space in the Gantt chart and from the uh, content sensitive menu I see I have an option there non working time if I select that I get a dialog box that opens up it's for time scale and there I have an option there to change the color for non working time so I'm going to click on the drop down there and select yellow click OK you can't see any visible change here at the minute but if I just zoom in on the Gantt chart we can see there's all the non-working time is highlighted in yellow. That's the weekends. We'll just zoom back out. So I go back up onto the project tab in the properties group and I click on change working time. So down the bottom of this dialog box, we have a section here and we have uh, two tabs. We have the exceptions and we have uh, work weeks. So the first thing we're going to do is on exceptions, we're going to select the cell underneath where it says name. And in there, we're going to type in Christmas holidays. Then over in the next column, we select under the cell underneath where it says start. And we click on the drop down there so we can select the date from the calendar. So we're going to go with the 23rd of December. And then over in the finish column, again, we click in the cell just under the word finish and we click in the drop down arrow there. And this time we're looking for January and it's going to be January the 3rd. So the holidays are going to run from the 23rd of the 12th to the 3rd of the 1st. I click OK and we can see straight away all the dates have highlighted there because the dates, some of the dates have changed around. And we can also see that the um, we can also see that the holiday section has been highlighted in red. Again, if we just zoom in there, we can see there's all the weekends and there's the big uh, Christmas holiday highlighted in, or sorry, in yellow, not in red. Next, we're going to change the working time on the calendar. So we're staying on the project tab in the properties group. Click on change working time dialog, uh, change working time uh, tool again. That opens up the dialog box there okay so what I want to do so down the bottom we've already put in our Christmas holidays so that's in the exceptions tab so now I want to click on the work weeks tab and over the right hand side I want to click on details to get some details of this right so we get the details for uh, the default uh, calendar for working time so we can see there are these three radio buttons here and the top one is selected uh, because that says use project default times for these days now we don't want to do that we want to change that so we have to select this button down the bottom first because we can see the times although we can see them uh, they're kind of uh, grayed out there so we can't actually access them at the minute so we need to select set days to these specific working times select that button now we have access to change the times so the day is split into two halves we have the first half and the second half so what we're going to do is we're going to change the start time from 8 to 9 so we select the four cell select the four cell let me see there we go select the four cell type in 9 and hit return select the second cell uh, the 2 so we want to go up to 1 o'clock so that's 1300 type in 13 hit return or enter then we want to give an hour break so instead in the second half of the day then we want to start at 1400 which is two o'clock type in 14 and hit enter and then yes we'll finish at five so that's grand so what we do need to do now is we need to go on and do that for every day so we select tuesday next again select that radio button down the bottom first so we can so the uh cells so the, the text becomes highlighted there we can change the times so select that type in 9 hit enter across here type in 13 hit enter 14 enter let me go down to Wednesday select the radio button down the bottom 9 start at 9 finish for lunch at 1 1300 then back after lunch at 1400 2 o'clock up to 5 we do the same for Thursday 
select the radio button down the bottom. Nine, enter. Thirteen, enter. Fourteen, enter. Now on Friday, we're going to do a little, a little bit different. I'm going to select the button down here again, the radio button down the bottom. This time I will be starting at nine again. We'll start at nine, hit enter, and then uh, up to 13 or 1300 or one o'clock. But what we're going to do is I'm going to give everyone a half day and a Friday. So all I'm going to do is hold the cursor over number two there for the second half of the day. I'll just left click on that to select it. And then on my keyboard, I'll just hit delete. And that gets rid of the afternoon session. So I click OK. I click OK again. And now we have all the dates have been adjusted to reflect the new working times. So that's how to change the working time on your calendar and also how to insert holidays on your calendar in MS Project.